Right, good morning. Um, I'm going to show you how I um, do my sugar waxing today. Um, a lot of people have asked me about it, so I thought I'd do one big video and then I don't have to show people individually. Um, okay, so here is my armpit. I've been growing my hair for three weeks, my armpit hair. Um, I've been doing sugar waxing for about six months now and I do it every two to three weeks. Um, I've noticed a considerable amount of difference in how much my armpit hair grows. Okay, here goes. So, um, that is how much I've got, which is literally nothing. That's three weeks, mm, two to three weeks, oh, probably actually three weeks growth. Um, I can't get right in there. Gross, I know, sorry. But that has decreased so much because they, they say that if you do sugar waxing for a long period of time, then um, it's the the hair doesn't just doesn't grow through. It uh, stops the bulbs, the hair bulbs growing back through, and it definitely has for me. So I think it's definitely worth a go because I absolutely hate shaving. It hurts. It gets sore, especially on your armpits. They're so delicate. So yeah, I think that's a considerable difference actually. You know, you can't really tell from afar. So, anyway, let's show you the stuff. Okay, over here I have, so, oh, where is it? There we go. This is my sugar wax. I've put it in boiling water to warm it up a little bit. Um, I made this beforehand. I'll put the recipe down below, but I think it's one cup of sugar, um, quarter of a cup of lemon juice and quarter a cup of water and then you just boil until it starts to turn this little brownie colour and then you take it off and store it and it'll store for about hmm, two, three months maybe. Um, I've also got some, uh, where is it now, here, I've got talcum powder, I don't like real talc because it's not good for you but this is like a cornstarch version, um, if you, you know, get a little bit sweaty while you're doing it, it can stop the wax from working so you can just pop a little bit of this on and it helps the wax stick. So let's have a let's have a go at it. So it's quite sticky to start with. It feels very weird. I'm just gonna pause this now and get some of my hand in and I'll start. Okay, here's the sugar ball. Just roll it up. This one's a little bit stickier than it should be. I'll go against this one. Um, because this is probably the pot's about two months old now, so it's ready to be replaced. Um, but it should still work. So here we go. Um, I'm wondering the best way to do it. Might have to call my daughter up. Just hold on. Okay, I'm just going to hand this over to my daughter, who's then going to take a picture of it. You have to shine it at me. That's it. Brilliant. So come close. Um, so you can, that's it, so you can see it, lovely. So you just squish it down like that. You do that a couple of times. That's it, and then I just flick the bottom. And then, boop, ah! <laughs> and that took off quite a bit. Try again. You flick it quite hard and you have to pull off quite quickly as well. So sometimes I find that flicking it is better at getting all the hairs out than just ripping it off. Just give some pressure afterwards, make sure it doesn't bruise. But I haven't never bruised yet. I do flick. It's got some air in it now, so it's making funny noises. Oh, it's starting to come off now, so that means I've either got a bit sweaty from the pain or... Uh, just a bit too sticky but it is taking the hair off. Oh there we go. So if you want to get in there flick you can see that a lot of it's come off. Wonderful and I'll finish it off myself. And that's it. Easy as pie. Thank you. Bye.